Hey guys, so I'm going to be making a video on how to breed snails. I know this isn't your typical bearded dragon video, but like I said in my last video, I want my channel to be a more of a variety. So like I want to have fish and snails and all about bearded dragons and stuff like that. But um, probably not many snail videos after the two I'm about to post because I don't want any more snails after the ones I have now. And you'll know why in the video. Um, I could put a video on how to take care of mystery snails. Probably not the best idea considering... I wasn't the best at taking care of the ones I had, but um, I'll explain everything in the video, trust me. But yeah, this is just for people who want to breed their mystery snails and start like a mystery snail colony. So before I begin the video, I just want to say that I do not recommend this for anyone who's just starting out as mystery snail owners. Um, I recommend this more for people who have a stable mystery snail environment for their mystery snails and their mystery snails are happy, healthy, they've had them for a while, they know what they're doing, they've had tons of experience and did a lot of research. Don't get a mystery snail, don't get two, find out they have babies and then have this great idea that you're some kind of like breeder and can raise mystery snails because that's what I did and it didn't really work out that well. Because if you're a beginner and you start this, I guarantee you it's not going to go as smooth as you want it. So I recommend you do at least some research before you start this. Don't do what I did. Another thing, I am not talking about apple snails. I'm talking about mystery snails. Um, apple snails grow much larger and their eggs are like, I think more reddish in color. Mystery snails eggs are more of a pale pink and then they get to be gray once they're close to hatching. But if you heard online that snails are asexual, you're probably right in some breeds. See what I mean? But not all breeds. So, um, mystery snails, if you heard they're asexual, that's false, they're not asexual. Which means um, that they have male and female organs. This is not the case. If you have a male, he'll have male organs. If you have a female, she'll have female organs. So therefore you need a male and a female to breed and make eggs. I think there's a different type of snail that can be asexual, but not mystery snails. Okay, so to start it out, you want a boy and a girl. I could put a diagram over here how to differentiate between the two. It was pretty hard for me when I had my two mystery snails, but they were boy and a girl, but I didn't know that until they laid eggs. Well, one of them laid eggs. So yeah, this is how to differentiate between the two if you want to make sure that you have a boy and a girl. For tank requirements, um, it's just your standard mystery snail tank requirement. I don't really know like the exact requirement but I don't recommend anything smaller than a 3.5 you want to make sure that it's kind of small enough for them to know they're there next to each other and big enough for them to get their own room um, again I really don't know I'm just giving you my recommendation I had them in a 10 gallon tank with a beta and two catfish and they did just fine but 3.5 will do I have a 3.5 gallon nails which I have all the babies but the only reason why I have so many 3.5 is because they're still about that small so they all fit in there perfectly it's not really overcrowded they're fine they're healthy once you buy your two mystery snails and you make sure they're a boy and a girl they pretty much breed on their own so within one or two months you should have eggs that's what I had and that's what a lot of people had when they lay eggs it's not individual eggs around the tank it's basically a clutch of eggs I'll show a picture right here you'll see this in your tank you want to make sure your water level is at least three to five inches from the top of the tank so it gives the mystery snails room to lay the clutches like I said they lay eggs about every week so it's pretty consistent um every week or two mine's laid eggs every week I know some people that laid eggs every two weeks and then they stop for two to three months and then lay eggs again but mine only laid eggs every week um at sometimes you're going to get so many clutches that you don't know how to take care of them all or you maybe don't want to take care of them all how I got rid of my eggs is you put the egg clutch in a plastic bag and then freeze it overnight well freeze it for 24 hours then throw it out I know I don't like doing it either I feel so bad when I have to do this but it has to be done because I won't be able to take care of them. There's people online that throw them in the toilet. This isn't a good idea because I heard that they can go in the sewer and then actually breed from there. And then it messes up your ecosystem and stuff, apparently. I read it online. I don't know. Um, but I wouldn't recommend doing that if that's the case. So yeah, it's pretty much easy on how to breed your mystery snails. Not really that hard. They pretty much do it on their own. There's really no secret or trick to it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.